Brandon Allen, welcome to Knuckles Up 2, my man. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my Lord. That's, that's a strong. This is a meaty, strong. meaty, meaty. Let me fill out pronation. Let's see. I know you're going to need it. <laughs> okay. All right. Guys, we're here. Knuckles Up 2, the one and only Brandon Allen. Relatively new to the sport, but making a name very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I've been you lucky. Know? I've been offered some easy matches, you know, coming in, so... Yeah, I good. wouldn't say easy, you know, even just having to travel over to Dubai is not easy, so that's yeah. a feat in itself. Yeah, Larry was a nice easy one. Uh, I've had a few easy ones in California, and then uh, you guys just gave me a layup for this weekend. Oh, layup. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, <laughs> You better hear that. You're just coming from his mouth. Uh, well, thank you, first of all, so much for coming. Obviously, we're super, super excited. Um, you know, you're definitely someone who I think, I mean, I know with your powerlifting background, but I know you're focused. You're really committing to this sport, and, oh, yeah. and you're going to be rising pretty quickly um, as long as you just, you know, stop doing that stupid Kings move. <laughs> it's Queens move. Yeah. Queens move. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, oh, Queens it's the move. Queens move. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I, mean, have, yeah. I haven't developed the walk yet. That's the Kings move. Ah, gotcha. So it's, 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 the girly way. it's still the Queens move. Correct. The Queens move. No, so, but how do you feel, just in general, physically? You ready to go? You feel like oh, yeah. this you're is, all set? You know, uh... Every time before a match, you start getting like these phantom pains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like, oh, I don't know. This is going to hold up? Yeah, this weird little spot. It might be. This is maybe, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but this is the first match going into where I feel very confident. I feel like anywhere the match goes, I'm confident like going there. I don't have anything that I'm trying to protect okay. and I'm trying to avoid. So that's that's a huge plus. Right back, especially going against someone as, as experienced as RBJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's going to uh, know angles and lanes that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've felt, you know, uh, just yet, but we'll see. I think, um, you know, I think I'm strong enough to win. Yeah. It's not going to make a difference. I, I, I got to say something real quick. Okay. All you guys, all of you guys that have been telling me, dude, his hand's huge. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so big. You're not, it's going to be terrible. You guys are out of your mind. His hand, it may be as big for a little guy, but his hand is not that it, big. What it is, is, and this for everyone listening at home, is, you may have met big arm wrestlers, but you haven't met big power lifters, sure. big strong men. Right. Like, I shake Brian Shaw's hand and it wraps like, around you a child. Yeah, it wraps all the way around yes. you. Like, Sir, yeah. can I please have my hand back? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. So, actually, I, I thank you guys. I should, because in my head, I had this big, <laughs> scary monster in, and then this morning, I see him down in the breakfast. I'm like, stop it. I almost feel bad. He's a little fella. He is a little fella. I feel, I feel like I'm uh, punching down a little bit. Rob, do you hear this? Being up on the little guy. You know, I would punch down even further and go after Ryan, but we'll save that for another time. Oh, I don't know. We might have to make that match happen. But I, I'm glad you're feeling absolutely fantastic. I you have your wonderful wife with you, so thank yep, you so yep. much for coming. We're going to be well. here out here. So. Um, but that being said, how do you think that this match is going to – is it going to go all five rounds? you think you're going to take him one, two, three? Uh, no, I definitely think it'll be like a 3-1 type match. Okay. Uh, potentially 3-2. Um, and that's just me being honest, you know. Uh, I, I I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's going to go 3-0. Like, you know, I feel like there, that's a possibility. But I think more realistically it'll be a drawn-out match. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll blow up. Um, his, his wrist will eventually buckle. And so now, I mean, obviously studying your style a little bit, right, you are, I don't think you're the type of person where they, they take your hand, but you are willing to give it away. Sure. And, you know, hold that, you know, queen's move position, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So, what I'm very curious about is, because he is known for his, you know, dominant hand, right? If you crack that wrist back, what's going to happen? Because it hasn't happened to him very often. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. It's one of my favorite matches on the card. Not just because I'm a, I've been a fan of yours for years as a power lifter, but... I've been a fan of Rob's for years. You sure, know, watch him sure. in WAL. Yep, yep. Now he's here, and he's trying to work his way back into the sport. You're on the rise. So I think it's going to be good. But, you know, he told me that you're a fat bastard. <laughs> and, I, you know. I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. But I'm an athletic fat bastard. Yes, I like it. I don't it. think I he's like used it. to dealing with guys that are 320 pounds that can move like I can. Yeah, exactly. So I think he's in for a surprise. Is that where you're going to be, 320? Um, I was 317 yesterday morning before I was eating all this delicious food that you guys provided. <laughs> guys, listen, this is the car to be on. I don't, the food alone makes it 100% worth it. They were taking care of us. I'm heavy. I, I'm probably 325 right now. Really? You really think you're going to be close I, to that? I mean, well, I, I want to be 100 pounds heavier than RBJ, so when I beat him, he has an excuse. Like, oh, he has got 100 pounds on me. He's already been making an excuse. He already texted me and told me he might not come. <laughs> told me he might go home. He we'll might. I heard him starting up his car in the, in the parking lot. Yeah, he so. said, tell the fellows goodbye for me. I can't take a look, I can't I look at their faces. I, I, got like, I got you, bro. Now, other than your card, obviously, is there any card that you are kind of looking forward to or something that had you know, piqued an interest on the, on the rest of the matchups for the night? 
I, I mean, I love arm wrestling, so yeah. it would it, it'd be unfair to say that any of them excite me too much. I mean, I have a you know personal friends on the card like Cody Merritt's a buddy of mine. Okay. Know, I help him with coaching and stuff like that and programming. So obviously, I want to see Cody do well. Sure. Um, all the other guys, I mean, I like everyone you know equally. I yeah. don't have a too much of a, a bone in any of the fights, but. Um, yeah, I just I'm excited to watch good arm wrestling yeah. up close and personal. My match is not going to be good arm wrestling. It's going to be ugly. Just it's going to be disgusting. Gritty. All you purists are like, that's cheating. That's terrible. Shut up. You're not here. I am. Don't but, worry. Don't worry. We are going to have a rules meeting, so we're going to make sure you know, like we're, we're you just keep that elbow on the pad. I'm just going all the way under the table. Yeah, right off the just, bat. just make sure you're on the offensive side, <laughs> and you'll be on the losing side all the way side the whole time. I'm gonna make it so ugly. We get three oh. fouls. You guys are gonna fucking hate me. I and love I'm it. I'm gonna love it. Well, it's gonna. I'm sure it's gonna go to the strap very quickly. Oh, he, there's no way that he's hanging on to me. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. if you had one message to tell your wonderful, beautiful opponent. He is a handsome fella. He is a handsome fella. Got, that nose, I tell you what. <laughs> he, he walks in the door, that nose hits you before anything else does. Um, yeah, the only, Rob, you know I love you. You know you're my buddy. I just think you picked the wrong match for your comeback match. I don't want to be the guy to put you in back into retirement. It looks like that's what it's going to be. But again, you know we're always going to be friends. And uh, maybe I'll give you another shot at it later. Maybe. Guys, grab the pay-per-view. You're going to want to see it. You're not going to want to miss it, Brandon. Thank you so much. Thanks for oh, having me, brother. Oh, stop it, stop it. I got to oh, match geez, one of these easy, days. Easy, so. easy. Be good. Guys, we'll see you soon.